What's up, that guys? Welcome it. back to another Cafecito Time. This is your girl, Marisol. Hey, this is the brand new official intro. The intro before the intro. And it's your boy, Chingo Bling. Who else we got in here? DJ producer, Big Rob in the building. What's going on, everybody? I think I got the camera. Nope, the camera's not on, but it's it's there. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> new camera on the way. I sent Marisol the Amazon link. Yeah, Prime Deal's going on right now. Do you guys nerd out on Prime Deals? I don't. No? It's is, not is that, that, like that Black big Friday? of a deal. It's like $2 off, bro. I like, saw everybody talking about it yesterday, so I don't know. Yeah, I got a bunch of DMs, um, like my sister saying, oh my God, I think there was a TV on sale. I'm not a TV person, just so you know. I don't really know. Like a You watch more TV than anybody I know. <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 no. We no. I don't TV. last night. We, I'm talking about what I mean by TV is I don't care if it's Samsung, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. You care what size it is? Does like, the size matter? The size matters, it's, but not. How much does the size matter? I mean, ours is, I think, seven. Oh, it matters. And, and, she, and she, she she very happy with the size, <laughs> with the dimensions of the television. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Mighty Soul was trying to make it sound at first like we did not binge half a season of I never Vice said, Principles. I'm kidding. I never said that I didn't watch TV. I said yeah, that was the I don't care uh, about she's like, the no, brand. I don't and care I guess this was brand. a brand yeah. that was... The big deal, I think it was like a 75 inch and it was going for like 400, which is unheard of or oh something God, like that. Yeah. So my sister sent that to me. She goes, look for your living room. I'm like, yep. I said the off brand one that I bought from Walmart <clears throat> is a three something and it's also a 75 inch. So, you know, do you care? I had to kill it. No, nah, I don't give a damn, bro. Mm. P doesn't like to buy gifts, period. I, I can. I understand. That. I feel that. So. What are we sipping on today? <laughs> what are we sipping on? What I mean, I need to get some kind of a lot of sugar. Uh, you, actually, this first? is a nitro cold brew with pumpkin cream foam. This, so this has dairy. Pumpkin cream foam. Okay. So I don't know what it's made out of. It's just it's the made foam out of unicorn part. Uh, unicorn fart. So <laughs> the foam is just at the top, and then obviously it starts to change the color because it falls into the coffee. But it's a nitro. And, what you're having. And Robert is uh, yeah, sipping on a non-sponsor. I got the uh, yeah, my bad. Non-sponsor product Coast placement drink. for the non-sponsor. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> we'll get the shelves all around the studio. Um, are you drinking the same thing? Yes. I got him the same thing, Ooh, yeah. Sugary. Welcome to the pumpkin spice world. You're welcome to diabetes. It's actually really good. It's not, because it ends up being it's like, like... 70 calories, isn't it? Uh, With the pumpkin spice. Without the pumpkin without the pumpkin cream, it's not the pumpkin... Oh, shit. Ooh. All right, Ooh. David Blaine. Uh, without uh, that, it's it's only 10 calories oh, for bro, that's nitro cold brew. Yeah. My soul be sipping, babysitting her shit. Yeah, I do. You can go all day drinking a I coffee. I like to drink my Probably co- I like week. to fill up. Uh, no, that's a lie. I like to fill up my biggest cup and then I drink the entire day. Can you just put it back in the fridge and then drink it later? Yes. That's what this that's is. That's me. Hmm. Can't do I that. can't. Well, they, I only, they fall apart. My coffee only needs to be hot in the morning. That's the only time. Then after that, I, I know a lot of people don't like cold coffee. I love cold. Who don't like cold coffee? A lot of people don't like cold coffee, not cold, cold brew cold coffee so if my cup of coffee gets cold i don't go put it in the microwave oh, again no, to no, heat no, it back no. up i just keep drinking it it's no. still good hey you guys uh sorry i gotta bring this up you ever put something in a dirty microwave like you're at somebody's place and it's a dirty microwave like, and you're like man what about like you on tour and you're at a gas station you had a quick trip something like that you had a qt at midnight and there's a couple meth heads and they're like sir you're not allowed to be in here like, why not <laughs> It's like, because you never pay for your stuff. Yeah. And then the microwave be dirty. Dude, somebody was like, hey, you want some coffee? I'm going to reheat this coffee up at a place I was at. And uh, they're like, sure. So they're like, go ahead and just put it in the microwave. We all want hot coffee. I put it in. The microwave was filthy. So I put the coffee in there, heat it up. And everybody's just drinking it like nothing. I'm like, oh, yeah. And I just threw it out in the sink. Yeah, I would have can't do that. You thought it, it absorbed some of that yes. essence. Okay, do you yeah. see that feeling, Rob? Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. That's how I feel about a dirty kitchen in the morning why i still have to go downstairs and clean it before going to bed i've had this discussion on my podcast her lounge podcast plug in plug plug um, her lounge friday her lounge if you want to sponsor <laughs> bam, bam, bam. um that's how i feel about it i feel like i'm cooking in a dirty if the dishes are dirty in the morning when i wake up to make breakfast or to be in there and there's dishes it grosses me out i feel like you're using the restroom where <laughs> someone peed Gross. and they didn't flush the toilet or pooped and didn't. Uh, you make it, it sound like your kitchen's like the commercials where they like swipe the counters and it's like a layer of filth. I mean, there's it's not. not. That dirty. No, it's mm. not. It's never. Never. It's never. I mean, you could do a photo shoot in our kitchen. Yes. Clean or dirty. I do not like shit. The Kardashians, if they want, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if they want to have a more intimate kitchen. I mean, know. speaking of. Whoa, I didn't have to spit like that. Sorry if y'all saw all, all right. this like hey, fountain facts. right now. Shout out to everybody um, listening and missed out on the visuals. Uh, <laughs> follow the YouTube. Cafecito Time has his own YouTube channel. 
Uh-huh. What? Yeah. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. Also. We already got like 10 subscribers. We're going. Okay. No, I'm talking about on go, our way to and 11. It, and it does, it, does it go live on Facebook, Facebook also? Facebook Watch. We're going to try to figure out the times. The best time for Chingo's Facebook. But it will be on the uh, Chingo Blank Facebook page. He's basically saying all my fans are old. And it, you can't just post shit at noon. Because <laughs> they, they babysitting their they grandbabies and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watching the novellas, watching the baby. Yeah. I, I had this discussion yesterday with the, one of the ladies at the Hive. She said, oh, what did you do this week? And I said, oh, it was actually my birthday Saturday. I turned 41. And she was like, oh, my God. I'm 20 years older than you. She's like, I'm old enough to be your mom. Because we sit there and have, like, growing up conversation so i don't really know how old she thought i was i think she maybe i know she didn't think i was 60 but i think she thought <laughs> i was like more of like her do- her kid's age right like i think she thought maybe i was going to be in my 20s she said you had a young spirit she didn't say that <laughs> i wasn't i wouldn't go that far she didn't say that but you do look young especially She's on camera baby face yeah you, you got the baby face you don't need the botox you know what i'm saying but, but anyway moving i on. know this <laughs> camera doesn't make me look like i need botox. hey hasta, oh, hasta cuando me regaña it. hasta cuando me regaña i'll be like man yeah. i'm so blessed look at my baby <laughs> she could be very upset talking about why you ain't memorized the whole calendar for the week even though she's mid-arm throwing something at you man she's beautiful like, i told that. you the whole schedule for the week last night at midnight <laughs> after you done smoke and you watching vice principles that shit is so funny bro have you watched you still vice, haven't watched it vice principles is that with brian callen no no uh, Ch- charlie tamale but shout ooh. out to shout out to brian callen how dare you um it's uh danny mcbride oh Oh, 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 of course. I get the giggles just looking at him. That's how bad it is. <laughs> Dude. The you, writing is so I random. I love it. Did you, guys, did you guys watch the other one where he's like a preacher kind of oh, guy? Oh, yeah. There's of a new episode. We just, I told I follow them on Instagram. And so I was like, there's a new episode. The Righteous they Gemstones. They keep saying. The righteous gemstones. And he's like, there's no new episode. We've watched all of them. And so the next thing you know, I see one that was unwatched. I said, I bet you it's that one. Sure enough, it was that one. But it's funny because... What's her name, babe? This, this show should be called Spoiler Alerts. Uh, who? <laughs> Fuck the it. girl that pays, plays his sister in... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know her name. She's hilarious. Something Hill, right? Her <laughs> last name's Hill, I think. I don't know, but she's hilarious. I follow her on Instagram, bro. If you need just something to laugh about, follow her on Instagram. Because just like her posts are funny and then like their funny pictures should be like... <laughs> and then it'll just the caption is just like amazing. It, yeah. it's, a, it's a killer combination of like really good comedic acting and, and writing and insane writing where it's like everything you think punched of it up. like where did you think of that it's amazing you're talking about for uh, vice principles yeah she's yeah. on there too she's like a crush like she crushes on him on that one she's so, another teacher who's uh, the her, let me see is it her? uh is it the one with the yeah it's that her, one yeah this one uh-huh. what's her name the brunette Eddie Patterson. Eddie Patterson. Oh, Eddie yeah, that's Patterson. her, bro. She's funny. She is hilarious. Follow her on social media, bro. Hey, meanwhile. Oh, that's Jody Hill. Which one? That one. He's also a creator with McBride. He, he directs, and mm. I think he's part of Danny's little crew. From when, okay, got it. From when they started. I thought this was Reese Witherspoon. And though that other guy, William, what's his name? This, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, I, I apologize so to the listeners. If y'all want to get us a bigger monitor, um, uh, Patreon.com. Well, why can't we use the TV? We right could. There. We just need to set it up in, in a way where I can uh, mount yeah, it to I want to kind of remount it a little bit because it's sitting sideways. Yeah. Uh, Walton he's Goggins. He's funny. Funny, he's bro. He's hilarious. He's in, gem- he's in the Gemstones. Where do you know him from? Uh, movies, but I don't know exactly what movie. He's kind of always like a, like a supporting cast member, never like a lead. Well, he uh, does a great job on these shows. Yeah. That's the thing about a support yeah. versus lead. His sometimes, like, was Ruth in... Um, Ozark the lead? Oh yeah, you think you don't Ruth think she was a lead? I think she is a lead, like the lead. Not the it's no lead, longer about the family because it's, it's the it's family just, that's the really the lead. But they've and she for sure, man. Jason she Bateman. kills it, man. Well, the two families are kind of the leads. <laughs> Jason Bateman's family What's and the other Ruth's one? family, the Langmores. True, well, yeah, because they're the mm-hmm. okay. So bad example, but I will say this though. For example, in Vice Principles, I mean, he co-stars. Like, even if it's like, well, it's really Danny McBride is the star, yeah, right? Yeah. But sometimes you could be in the cut, like point guard, like such a cold supporter mm-hmm. that you fucking steal the show, bro. That's true. Oh, yeah. He was an Ant-Man. That you, was... you must have not seen Chingo Bling and Philly Brown, Big Don. As a matter of fact, I saw that scene again the other day, man. It, I forget how good that fucking scene is. Which He made it sound like I had one scene. Well, we always talk about- You the had one... a good- Boy, that was a scene. No, the one we referenced on the <laughs> 
Which one? Saying, the one we've talked about in the podcast uh, on the podcast on RPT before is um, what word were you had the hat and the glasses on and you were talking about what the hell were you talking about? I don't even remember, but the visuals, the entire scene was like, it looked really good. You were in character with the hat and the glasses. I don't remember what the scene was. Listen, though. I, I forwarded until it was his part because I didn't care sleepy. for the movie. What? She's I thought it was dry. really a slow movie. It takes too long to get to the point. You know, I mean, all the writing sometimes. So yeah. I just wanted to watch his part and that's what I watched. So I forwarded all the way to his part, which his part was great. And then after that, I turned it off. I don't, I don't know how it ended, I, what re- it was about. We could shift gears. I just wanted to bring it back to me. <laughs> That's all it was, bro. We talking about Danny McBride, and I got a little jealous because my wife was like, "I love Danny McBride." I, love I was him. like, "You ain't seen Philly Brown? He's so good." You ain't heard. You ain't heard. Uh, Edward James Olmo gave me props. I feel like if he was just sitting here, I would just be giggling for nothing, just oh, looking Danny at McBride, him, bro. Yeah, no, nah, he's right. A, you remember uh, Pineapple Express? Where he's That's, 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 That's when my... I first discovered him. Really. Bro. Oh, that's dude. when I first I was like who the fuck is that dude his character in that movie is one of my favorite characters of all time you know this scene when they first go meet up with Red uh-huh. and he's bouncing a yoga ball yeah. <laughs> do you remember this scene it's when they first reveal Danny McBride's mm-hmm. character and he opens the door cause he ends up being like a snitch and everything mm-hmm. else right Yeah. he's bouncing the yoga ball and he's like like, oh what's up Red he, and he's like shit just trying to what do you say working on a Trying to get a scholarship. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Putting in work, trying to get a scholarship. Or a kimono. You know, it makes me aerodynamic when I fight. Yeah. And then he goes, safety first, then teamwork. <laughs> Dude, I love that character. Uh, did you guys watch Eastbound and Down? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay. Just but that, sure. was, that was after. Yeah, yeah. It was after. Yeah. yeah. But a lot of people slept I, on that. I fell in love with Eastbound and Down. I had the DVD and everything. I did too. What is that? Well, what you got CBD? there? CBD. Shout out to Endo Zondo. CBD. They're, you know, they're based out of, uh, you know, Victoria, Alice area. Mm. Word. Yeah. Didn't know we'll that. cut a promo for them. But yeah, you know, and this is also, you know, when you're a five star athlete and you're into combat sports, uh, when you might join the militia, sometimes you get you get injured. Oh, yeah. And you need peppermint rubbing bomb. It's <laughs> Texas. <laughs> Texas me, grown. I'm going to tell you something. The other day he comes in. He's like, how's the weather out there? I was like, oh, it's kind of rainy. I was like, so it rained on the way from on the way I, was, I went to go work at the hive yesterday guys for those of you that don't know real quick another plug check me out with my plugs bro yeah we plug in uh, you're a professional oh my god plug it in, here's my plug, plug guys um so if you don't know her apparel in, is inside the hive a pop-up collective and it is a store of 13 different female-owned businesses so we're all different we are the same, but all different. Everybody has different styles. There's some stuff that are cut and sew made um, in India, you know, and so forth. Um, but everybody has a little bit of different things. Um, so stop by and visit us right now, starting on October 20th through the 30th. We are doing the uh, American Cancer Society um, event, which is where you come in and you buy a $75 gift card. Uh, but it goes to obviously the american cancer society and um then you get to use that gift card to buy whatever you want and you also get 20 percent off on everything that's in the store and there's several businesses in the rice village that participate in this so it's just not us it's a big thing that comes and when they don't sell like the owners have to buy the stuff because you ask Mm. for that many pamphlets like that many of Mm -hmm. the cards so it's almost like you've asked basically you're Mm -hmm. assuming you're going to erase that money if that makes sense so Mm -hmm. um so guys Go support a great cause. Her apparel online has already started it. I started it already as of yesterday. I figured I'd be a week ahead, you know. Um, so if you purchase anything on the website, that also will be contributed to the Hive's um, donations that were given. And um, so use Think Pink 20 um, on herapparel.tx.com. And, you know, like I said on there, let's uh, kick cancer in the ass one purchase at a time. My baby is beautiful on the inside and the outside. Oh, thank you, boo. And I'm, uh, and, I, and we'll do this commercial shortly because we didn't hit y'all over the head. By fun. Well, so was, all, you're basically you said all the listeners of Her Lounge Podcast need to pull up and cop some of that Her apparel. Yes, and there's new stuff already up at the Hive. There's not new stuff on the website, but at the Hive there is. So there's a whole brand new all fall ready for you. So if you're getting ready for the fall already, I know it's hard to get into. I was telling him, I was like oh man i don't know excuse me should i put up the ponchos yet he's like it's like it's hot as hell how can you get into the mood of anything like 
fall related when it's still hot for us. Yeah. Right? Last night it felt good though. If you got to sit on your back patio yesterday, it was like in the uh, like mid 70s yesterday evening with the wind breeze, you know, blowing. Nice. Well, it, it was kind of, did it rain on your side of town? Mm. Sprinkle at all? No. Oh, it did on ours. On Well, on this here by the office, not when I was. Going basically, home. we got to start getting ready for winter, Rob, basically. Yeah, we What's up, bro? Yeah. Your, your, your pop got some wood? What are we doing? Yeah, you guys need Who got an extra more? tree? We, yeah, I can get some for sure. Hey, yeah. that, that one tree in the backyard is putting a lot of leaves in the yeah, pool. That tree needs to be cut. We probably going to have some firewood. <laughs> I thought the rule was you couldn't get rid of it. The pr- previous owner was like, Please that's, don't. <laughs> don't get rid of She's like, Her She's name's like, Esperanza. Yeah, she oh. was like, see, now we're going to personify this plant. And now we're going to feel bad when we got to cut it. But listen, she was like, the house is yours. I know I can't tell y'all what to do but that's esperanza and she she's we've been through a lot we've been through a lot but yeah uh enjoy the home uh esperanza please send me pictures please. Send, me, <laughs> send me photos of esperanza yeah esperanza, esperanza send me updates. a lot of mess in the backyard it is those yeah. palomitas be falling everywhere huh <sighs> yeah them little it's flowers bad. and the leaves it's dried right have now have you seen how many have you seen how much leaves i scoop out every time i go mm-hmm. back there to, you send me a picture it was disgusting <laughs> just so you know how much work he does in there no, really, what it is is how. Me duele la manita. No way. How, no, no, no. I was gonna tell a story. How precarious a pool is. So but. you know, I was at the hive all day because I do the the six hour or seven hour shift or whatever it is. So I'm there all day, and so now I'm home, and then I hasten in traffic. That's the one thing I was spoiled about always is that we vote. We've this is the first time we've never worked out of our house. We've always had a space in our home for work or for instance in this at this place we're at now when we're recording our garage was turned into the studio so Mm -hmm. anytime we need to work it was you go to the studio right go make a beat so i'm saying ride a disc wrap just to have it on deck so this is the first time we don't so driving through traffic I really admire anybody, and I'm going to sound like a spoiled brat, right? People that drive. They have to drive through traffic <laughs> she looking right every at day. <laughs> Dude, I feel him. Like an hour back, I an know. hour there. <laughs> so it takes me almost an hour to get home when it's only a 21-minute drive when there's no traffic, right? Getting there is never an issue. It's yeah going oh. home because I get off at 6. So, you know, anyhow, I get home, and he's like, how's the weather and i'm like "Eh, it was kind of rainy but other than that it was fine he's like yeah i'm starting to feel like you know it's just kind of a little i was like oh my god are you getting sick (laughs) oh no No, you know what it was i think and he's like no why and i was like i don't think so i was like oh man please don't i was like that's like no she jumped the gun she jumped the gun she jumped the gun she's like no 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 no. you can't be getting sick because when you be sick it's uh, uh, no 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 i was like i was like i was like bro i think i just maybe hit the weed (laughs) And my body, listen, Rod, I've been going hard in the gym, my boy. He has been. He has been. Bro, come on. I took kicks to the quad just so I know how pain feels, my G. You said there were taps to the leg. Taps accurate to the to the nerve. So it's like it's like like if I did this to my soul, frogging her. If I just if I just lightly just let gravity take. Did your parent ever hit you coscorron on the head? No. <laughs> Damn, buddy. So she's All got right. some resentment there. Therapy there. session about to start. Yep. Tra- let's talk about trauma. Nah. Um, no, we do that all so, regularly. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just explaining what I was feeling when I commented to her. Where I was like, man, what it is, bro, is your body was probably like relaxing due to TAC, perhaps. And it was feeling all the little cricks and the like, you're like, dude, they had us working on splits, my boy. Mm. You think I'm flexible? You think I could do some type of split? I'd love to see you try, though. He yeah was and it was, was marisol was like oh wow you're stiff than a motherfucker like it's it's these kind what are you kind of these kind of well, how do you Split. call it okay it's the, not the john claude legs you know what i'm saying butterfly it's one leg forward one leg back and even then dude it's like uh, like that's as low as you could go bro and i tried Lock yesterday yeah. after i don't know how long of being like i had never done split in long i haven't done it Still got it though. Yeah. Still able and to penny, do it. Penny, penny. I, I can still. Yeah, I got it too. I was like, okay. Word. Okay, man. Congratulations, cause um, I need to work on that. You need shit. to work on Penny's that. Penny's able to. Yeah. Bless it. I was showing him yesterday like stretches that we used to do when I was in dance to help you uh, get flexible to do a split. So we were doing it yesterday. So he was he was trying you yesterday. Know. You needed some yoga in your life, man. 
Yeah, I'm not mad yeah. at I'm not mad at yoga either. Um, just because like I had this conversation yesterday. People are, that are super stiff, you're gonna get older. You're gonna be an old stiff man if you don't. Yeah, work on it. like like um, what's that dude, Marcelo Garcia? Yeah, him. He says he does Pilates and shit like that. Yeah, and he's a. Pil- I've heard Pilates hard. is really hard. Yeah, you ever done a bar class? No, I've never done a bar ca- class, but a uh, hardcore spin used to be also have a hardcore Pilates. That's where I used to go do spin, guys. Go try hardcore spin. Somebody listening him. right now is like, "There's such coconuts." <laughs> We're talking about Pilates, yoga, and hey, motherfucking man, fuck spin. You. I got mine right here. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> nah, because you know what? Hey, when shit hits the fan, Rob gonna be ready. Yeah. Ch- Chingo gonna be ready, and you know the Thi is an army, but he had the Navy. If you mess with producer Rob, for you it ain't gravy. Oh. oh. I'm saying parody coming Speaking soon. of gravy, I'm gonna be cooking up that Tulsi Gabbard <laughs> recipe. She's like, "Hey, you get garbanzo beans, if garbanzo flour to make your gravy." Hey, that's gonna sound misogynistic. Somebody gonna misinterpret what you said. Take the dresses off. Yeah. I love. Oh, did you hear about Fifty Cent's son <laughs> saying eighty-seven hundred dollars a month or sixty-seven hundred dollars a month is not enough money for him to to live in New York? <laughs> like that child support is not enough money. Oh, sheesh. So hey. he's like, he says it's a million, but it's only, it's like, it's it comes out to eighty one thousand a year. So he was like, so he's it. poor in he's New like, York. So he's he's saying he's <laughs> poor in New York. Yeah, he poor as fuck in New York. So he's like, I need more money. So I can't see, survive. I'm like, well, bro, what do you? How old move. are you? Can yeah. you not get a job? Like, why? True. How old is he? You don't know, right? I don't know. It's be under eighteen. Ch- Rob, can you check? See, when, out? when I first heard, when I first heard him being a little complainer and entitled over that money. Of course, I'm like, kid. And then he said, bro, I live in New York. I was like, oh. <laughs> Adjust. For you. But Adjust are you paying for- rent? Or do you, li- if you live at home I don't even mom, know where he lives. I don't know that situation. I think he lives with mom. Uh, so one's 25 and one's 10. It was not the 10 year old. Because he didn't look ten. In a minute, we're gonna go. And it, hey, and he should. If he if he was ten, he shouldn't be on social media talking about his daddy's business. Then, but I don't think yeah. it was a twin nah, ten year old. Nah, it's a, it it's like a, a twenty five year old, oh, bro. He's twenty five, still getting money. Exactly. Oh hell, bro. Twenty five. Are you kidding me? I, I, I pulled a fifty cent son's age. Let me let me dig deeper. Go ahead. And after that, we're gonna go back to when Rob has said, "I'm a little manita." <laughs> we're gonna go back I to that. I thought he forgot. In a minute. I thought he Shout forgot. Shout out to Endo Zondo. You know what I'm saying 500 uh, milligrams in a two ounce rubbing balm. This is peppermint flavor. Contains, How do you know Zondo, not Zondo? That's how I like to say it, but it might be Zondo. In the Zondo. Google is wrong. He's 22. So born yeah, October 13th, 1997. Oh my God, today's his birthday. Today is tomorrow. His, tomorrow would be tomorrow. his birthday, yeah. Estás, yeah He'll be 23. 23 years old. What the f? Ya estás grande, güey. Enseñate. He gained recognition after the feud with his father, 50 Cent, as they uh, don't share a good relationship. That's sad. Oh, why don't they share a good relationship? Can you imagine? he's entitled? Well, I mean, here's his Instagram. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> what does it say? Featured father's video? What did it say? Oh, he, 50 put on his page. My blow a 20 ball in the strippy. <laughs> you supposed to feel sorry But what does the top say? 20 ball. <laughs> Marquise, Marquise made, made his, his debut team. in the music industry with the song Different and was featured in his father's video documentary, 50 Cent, The New Breed. He also appeared in the documentary short, A Patriot, A Portrait, sorry, bigger, bigger We're going to get a bigger monitor. Uh, hit a Patreon. A Portrait of, of an, an artist, artist, The Making of Get Rich or Die Trying. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Like the strippy part or the mo- or the twenty ball or the twenty ball. I mean, yeah, I'm tripping on this picture. <laughs> he's he's holding like it looks like a quarter million dollars worth of cash. Yeah, in his arms, like it's a big old toddler. And is he even good? Because <laughs> his dad toddler. is great. So is he even any good? Boy, I wonder. I've I think I've mentioned in the past to Rob, Fifty Cent's mixtape run, which led to him ending up on motherfucking TRL with Eminem and Dre. <sighs> His mixtapes really were fucking fire. Bro. Very good. I happened to be Very good. in New York when I first heard of Fifty Cent. She witnessed the come up, my oh, boy. I Whoa. did, and I'm not trying so to bring you up saw, old shit. You, you saw all the uh, uh, the bootleggers on the street selling the tapes. Mm-hmm. And the- Somebody who we were hanging out with said, "Yo, y'all got to listen to this," and I'm just like, "Okay." It remind mind yeah. you, I'm from Houston, so our style is a totally different yeah. type of style uh-huh. of rapping. So for me, it was like, eh, I'm not really that big into East Coast rapping. There's some that I like, you know, but 
you know, who is this guy? Mm-hmm. So they put in the tape because this was tape era, mm-hmm. yeah. just so we get that clear. Okay. Um, and I was like, what? Yes. That's back what I'm back when 50 about. was a youngin'. And it was good, bro. Yeah. Um, I didn't like his last album. It was just didn't do nothing for me. How about yeah, you? They, I don't even. I don't even know if I checked in for that. But that's how it is sometimes, man. Yeah. Be's that way. Speaking of album, yeah. new albums though that I didn't catch, was Drake's new one any good? Yeah, I actually liked it. There's a few the songs that were okay. The one they said sounds like house music. Yeah. yeah. I, like didn't, I didn't tune in. Me neither. I did not. I tune liked in. just like three songs. Man, Drake is smart than a motherfucker, bro. He be coming from a Canadian perspective, and then he'll be like, "I need a Memphis style beat, and I'm gonna wreck that shit." And everyone's like, "God damn, this song is jamming!" And then he's like, "I will take an Atlanta beat next." <laughs> That's how he's he talks like, in the studio. He's like, "Then I will take it to the Bay Area, right?" He's just like a nerd playing chess. Yeah. It's like then I'm gonna swing down to Houston, and I'm gonna get on a screwed up track and sample ESG. And it's like everyone will love me. I'll think global, but I'll act local. That's a really good pitch, actually. Yeah. That should be your elevator pitch. Because he's Canadian, dog. So he he's not beholden to, like, his region. It, like, if he's from Georgia, there's certain expectations. Like, bro, come on. You got to be influenced strictly by Gucci Man or these people. And you got to kind of do this slang. And he's like, I'm from Toronto. I will create slang. I do love me some Drake. I'm not going to lie. I do. I remember uh, a girlfriend of mine who was really into hardcore rap. She couldn't stand when Drake first came out. She's like, that boy is a little boy that played, played uh, <laughs> he was an Grassi. actor and a, he was in a wheelchair. How can anybody take this guy serious as a rapper? I can't take him serious. So she was like a no-go for Drake. Mm-hmm. Like, do not call. She felt like, do not put him in a rapper category. And then he, and then he wrecked Meek Mill. And then what? She came yeah, back no, around. No, yeah, no, right? No, Everyone no. did. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of people, he did earn a lot of respect when, um, not only just being successful and like make, being consistent with hits and like, sh- sh- whoa, what was that? Uh, my cut bracelet out? hit it. Uh, shining on the on feature verses and yeah. stuff like that. And um, once um, brain fart. What do you? How do you feel about ver- uh, features? By the way, speaking of, like I remember hearing him featuring on a ton of stuff before. I know what hit. I was gonna say. Good. Once once he started like like demanding his his respect and like calling motherfuckers out and exchanging bars and like pretty much battling all that Nickelodeon shit went out the fucking window (laughs) basically like there were some local Canadian people that tried to diss him and he hopped on their ass and I don't even think that shit made it to America and anytime anybody would try to call some shit he'd fucking okay here goes 16 bars of straight fire and then Meek Mill ran his mouth saying this could have been a, a deal breaker he don't even write his shit I got proof okay catch these 36 bars on, on your motherfucking head. That's, that's, that's. When did he hit? Early 2000s? Uh, mid, oh, oh, mid, Four, mid. five, six, somewhere around there? Maybe seven. seven. Maybe eight. Seven or eight. Eight. eight he was definitely nine. already popping. I was a oh, senior already in high by school. Eight? Yeah. Fuck, I don't, what's, yeah, what was the song? Was that might have been his first. Uh, You what? the Best? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was kind of like one of the first songs yeah. that really. It wasn't like a mixtape. It was like. It was kind of like all a lot of girls know the lyrics. Yeah. Yeah. Especially that you fancy him. Huh? That one came out after. Oh, but. that was a good one too. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that's an interesting conversation. We just went from simple <laughs> cafecito time. Yeah, and we we was almost finna talk about the NFL. We were. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna keep these to half hour stints for people. Or, or how do you how do you want to do the timeline? It's up yeah. to you. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a chingo that call. way. You, that way, people could you know if y'all want more. Yeah, it's, it's all teaser right now. Yeah, we still testing actually, so we kind of see if y'all motherfuckers really dig it or not. Yeah. If you oh like this- well, wait. While we're on the subject, I did get several DMs, guys, of people saying they can't find Cafecito Time. Very like it's hard to find. See, on, we might even have to change the name. On uh, well, no, there's not not because it's I don't know if it's the way it's listed or what. It's because it's new, and there's several called Cafecito Time. Yeah. N- there's not cafecito time it's cafecito time with something there's like three i saw mm-hmm. but they're okay. different um so, so what were they saying they were just having a hard time in, hard time finding uh, it just which so platform you know, which platform through apple, apple? Okay. i don't know about spotify i didn't try on spotify but um hmm. so maybe you could help out Rob. yeah well it, i know a new podcast go on the directory it's they kind of puts it at the bottom of the ones that were there first but the other ones no they haven't uploaded in like years they were just been around for a long time, so they never took the feeds uh, down. So after a while, people will be downloading this cover at the time. It'll rank at the top. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Well, well that's right. good to know. Hell yeah, for okay. sure. Well, you want to send them so, out? Because we still working on our outro. 
I didn't know there was an intro I'm and an kidding. outro. I'm kidding. Why are you looking at me? Just the dynamic of like, you know what I'm saying? I want to make sure my baby's good. You know what I'm talking about? I want to make sure she has crazy happy. right now. <laughs> <laughs> Indo Zondo. Um, Peppermint. Rubbing should, bomb. The outro, if any, should be your shows. You have independent shows. Yeah. yeah Addison Improv. Come check me out. Well, I'm at podcast. Oh. Well. Yeah. No, no, that as well. Last, <laughs> last show of the year. Hey, bro. Hey, I'm still in tour mode, my boy. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Um, yeah, we have RPT, Red Pill Tamales. If you like, you know, just beware. Because sometimes we're going to be like, hey, they're fucking up the economy. And you might be like, no, they're not. Yeah, and, or we might hey. talk about Troy Aikman, you know, being a misogynist or whatever is in pop culture. Well, you know, what? and Kanye being a white supremacist. There you go. And he's getting some crazy like Troy Aikman. We're gonna talk about that. No, on, oh, oh, or Kanye. Kanye. We'll talk about okay. it on the next one. Yeah, we'll talk about the next one. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure y'all follow Her Lounge Podcast. Tune in Wednesdays and Friday. RPT, you already know. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Even Rob, man, what's the name of your solo dolo? Uh, it's called That's Odd, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bundle it up into another show soon. Damn it, the camera turned off. But I'll talk about that next week. Patreon.com right, cool. forward slash Red Peace.